Anita Wood and I am the education lead for Schools Across the Ocean. An amazing project that began just slightly less than a year ago. So about a year ago we set about twinning schools between the UK and the United Arab Emirates. We chose schools really carefully. We chose schools which are sometimes isolated, the schools at the very fringes of our region. Um, so our schools range from, from St Just in West Cornwall, anyone here from St Just? Probably not, it's quite a long way away. Um, down to Falmouth, so King Charles School in Falmouth, across to the Isle of Portland, down to a tiny little school in Sark in the Channel Islands that has less than 30 pupils. Um, I tried to go there in October to deliver some books, but wasn't able to because the island was cut off for a week because of the gales. Um, I got there just a few weeks ago in the sunshine. We joined all of those children in the UK and their teachers with schools in the United Arab Emirates. And as you can imagine, the schools were quite different. If you look out of the window of the school at St Just, you see rocky cliffs and coves. If you look out of the window of the school in Falmouth, there's an estuary and a beacon school as well down in Exmouth. They're very close to the River X and the estuary of the X. But the schools in UAE, when they looked out of their windows, they could see mangrove forests and the desert meeting the sea. Our project is about connection, connecting children, connecting teachers, and connecting them with scientists, artists, and writers so that they can better understand the climate, our ocean, and the challenges that we all face. I wish that today we could have those 400 children here with us in Exeter, but as you can probably imagine, the logistics of that would be quite challenging.